the Public Procurement Regulatory Authority. What are the functions? Now, function number one, monitor, assess, and review the public procurement and disposal of assets system. To monitor, assess, and review the public procurement and asset disposal system to ensure that they respect the national values and other provisions of the Constitution, including Article 227, and also make recommendations for improvements. The second function of PPRA is to monitor the public procurement system. Monitor the public procurement system. Is to monitor the public procurement system and then report on the overall of its state to the cabinet secretary and the county executive member of finance in each country. Such are the reports and recommendations for improvement. Monitor the public procurement system for the national government and also the county. The third function of PPRA is to enforce any standards. Enforce any standards. And what are these standards? These are standards developed under the Act. Developed under the Act. Which Act? Public Procurement Asset Disposal Act. All right? The Public Procurement and Disposal Act. There are standards that have been laid down in the Act. The PPRA should ensure that the standards are enforced. It's to enforce any standards that are developed under the Act. Four, monitor the information that is classified. Monitor classified procurement information is to monitor monitor classified procurement information including that of specific items of security organs and then make recommendations to the cabinet secretary Five, monitor implementation. It is the function of the PPRA to monitor implementation of the preference and uh, what we call reservation schemes by procuring entities. The sixth point is to prepare issue and publicize standard public procurement and asset disposal documents to publicize issue and to issue and also to do what? To publicize standard procurement and disposal documents. Standard public procurement and disposal documents to publicize, to issue, to publicize standard public procurement and disposal documents. All right? 
the, the PPRA is also required to uh, even publicize the formats to be used by public entities and other stakeholders. Seven, advice. It is the function of the PPRA to advise, to provide advice and technical support. And technical support. To provide advice and technical support on request, upon request. Eight, to investigate. The authority can also investigate and act on complaints received on procurement and asset disposal proceedings from procuring entities, from tenderers, from contractors, or even the general public that are not subject to administrative review. Research. The authority also conducts research on public procurement and asset disposal. Public procurement and asset disposal. To research on public procurement and asset disposal, um, that is uh, research on the system also, and any developments arising from the same. Ten, advise the cabinet secretary. Advise, this. it is the role of the PPRA to advise the cabinet secretary on the advice could be on setting of standards, including international public procurement and asset disposal standards, and so on, to give advice to the cabinet secretary. 11, develop state portal. This is the function of the PPRA. Develop and manage the state portal on procurement and asset disposal and ensure that it is available and easily accessible. Easily accessible. Twelve, monitor and evaluate. Monitor and evaluate preferences and reservations. Monitor and evaluate preferences and reservations provided for under the Act and provide quarterly public reports. 13. Create central repository. It is the function of PPRA to create a central repository or database that includes one, complaints made on procuring entities, two, a record of those prohibited from participating in tenders or those that are debared, three, marked prices of good services and uh, works, four, benchmarked prices, five, the state organs and public entities that are non-compliant with procurement laws. Six, statistics related to public procurement and asset disposal. Seven, price comparisons of goods, services, and works. And lastly, any information related to procurement that may be necessary for the public. So it is the function of the Public Procurement Regulatory Authority to create a central repository or database to create a central database that has information that I've listed. That information may include statistics 
related to public procurement and asset disposal and so on. Number four, inform. The authority also has a function, plays a function of informing as applicable. The cabinet secretary, it may inform the National Assembly, may inform the relevant county executive member for finance. Uh, the authority may also inform the relevant county assembly. The authority can inform the auditor general on issues of non-compliance with procurement laws. Once the relevant state organ or public entity ignores the written directives of the authority, including material breaches of the measures established under the Act. If we recall one of the roles of this uh, authority is to investigate. To investigate. Now, upon investigation the, of uh, any public entity that is not compliant, that is not compliant with the uh, procurement laws, then the authority may inform the other stakeholders in the public procurement uh, process, like the Auditor General. The PPRA may also inform the Parliament, National Assembly, County Assembly, the Cabinet Secretary, the, the Auditor General. This, all these are we may have the CEC, the County Executive Committee Member on Finance. All right, all these parties play a critical role in the procurement process. So, whenever the PPRA has information or has investigated any public entity and has written to that public entity to confirm to conform to the uh, procurement laws and that entity has failed to conform, then it is the function of the PPRA to inform the National Assembly, the County Assembly, the Cabinet Secretary, the um, Auditor General, the County Executive Committee Member on Finance on the non-compliance of the public entity. 15. Generally, report to the National Assembly or and the County Assembly. Reporting to the Parliament or the County Assembly. This authority also develops, it has a function of developing a code of ethics. Develop code of ethics. It is the function of PPRA to develop a code of ethics to guide procuring entities and winning bidders when undertaking public procurement and disposal with state organs and public entities. Develop code of ethics. All right. This is number 16. Then number 17 is that the PPRA, in undertaking its functions, is required to cooperate with state and non-state non actors. Cooperate with state and non-state actors. Cooperate with state and non-state actors. In the procurement, uh, in public procurement, we have state actors and non-state actors. State actors comprise generally the public entities. We have the public uh, servants. We have uh, public entities like the National Assembly, the cabinet secretary, the uh, auditor general, the county assembly, 
and so on. They are also non-state actors. This is the private sector. You may find in the uh, procurement, uh, public procurement, there are the maybe suppliers or vendors who are not necessarily the public uh, uh, entities. So the uh, PPRA, when undertaking its functions, can cooperate with the state and owner and state actors with a view to obtaining recommendations on how public procurement and disposal can be improved. So that's a function of the authority. Number 18 is in relation to preference and reservations. Preference and reservations. The PPRA ensures the procurement entities implement the preference and reservations and provide data to the authority uh, um, disaggregated to indicate the number of disadvantaged groups that have benefited. So these are 18 functions of PPRA. One, monitor, assess, review the public procurement disposal uh, uh, system, disposal of assets system, monitor the procurement, uh, uh, public procurement uh, system, uh, enforce any standards developed under the Act, monitor classified procurement information, monitor the implementation, uh, issue to issue and publicize standards uh, uh, on public procurement and disposal of assets. The documents, including the, the formats, supposed to publicize the documents. He also has a function to advise, to give advice and technical support upon request. Upon request. The authority also uh, carries out investigation, investigations on any non-compliance of uh, the standards or the rules under the Act to investigate the public entities that do not comply with the Public Procurement Act and regulations. The authority also researches on public procurement and asset uh, disposal. Research carries out research Advise the cabinet secretary, develops a state portal, develops and maintains state portal, and ensures that the members of the public have easy access to the portal. Monitor and evaluate preference and reservations. It is the function of the authority also to create central repository or database. The authority also has a role of informing the National Assembly, County Assembly, Cabinet Secretary, uh, 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 the Auditor General, the, count, uh, the County Executive Committee member on finance and so on. The authority generally also reports to the National Assembly and the County Assembly where necessary. It is the function of this authority to also develop a code of ethics to guide procuring entities and winning bidders when undertaking procurement and disposal with the state organs and public entities, develop code of ethics, cooperate with state and non-state non -state actors, and lastly, preference and reservations. <laughs>